Four years ago, Jennifer Hawk Pettit, seen in this bank surveillance video, tried to keep her family alive during a home invasion by going to her bank and withdrawing thousands of dollars. But when authorities got to her home, she and her two daughters were dead. Prosecutors are now pursuing the death penalty against the second defendant in the case, Joshua Komosarjevsky. They have introduced his tape confession to police. Like, I, I, I don't understand that this isn't the plan. We're supposed to just get the money and get out, right? period. In the tape, Komar Sarjeski says that Bill Pettit, the father who survived, was asleep downstairs when he and his partner, Stephen Hayes, invaded the home in the middle of the night. Since no significant cash was found at home, Jennifer Hawk Pettit agreed to go to the bank with Hayes and withdraw the money. But Komasar Jeski says that Hayes also planned to burn down the house and kill the family. Going on and on and on about DNA and, and even the drop of sweat or uh, a hair falling off your head uh, was enough to, to put us in jail. He said after Pettit's wife came home, she was tied up again. He said Hayes then raped and strangled her. But the father, who was tied up in the basement, managed to get away. He says Hayes then started a fire in the home with gasoline he had bought hours earlier. It was like, you can't seriously be, be contemplating burning these, these two girls alive. Mm. Like, uh, it's unconscionable. He said the two men tried to get away in the family's car, but they were arrested when they struck several police cars blocking the road outside. It got really blurry for a little bit, and all I could hear, and like, this distant echo was, uh, hands out of the car, um, get out of the car, hands out of the car, come out slowly, um, Hayes has already been convicted of the three killings and received the death penalty. Komisar Jeski says he participated in the home invasion but blames Hayes for the murders. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.